3M77. That's it. Got all my skins all laid up together with all the carbon toes and Kevlar for the hinges in there. So now all I got to do is just set up the um, the mold to do the vacuum um, infusion and um, just makes life a little bit easier. Rightio.
just got back down to the wind burner shed. Kevy's putting his safety gloves on here. And uh, we've got the foreman over here. How are you, Monty? <laughs> what are you doing? Anyway, Kevy's just about to mix up uh, 150 of the 246 laminating low viscosity resin. And then we're going to be doing Kevy's first ever vacuum infusion job, which is a bit tentative, but uh, it'll go sweet. And what he's done, he's, uh, this is a glass one with a veneer layup. I gave him some of the resin infusion mesh. That's on there, and it's all ready to go. Got the inlet port over here, clamped off with a set of vices. And it should suck in straight across. He's got the Seeds <laughs> Apple Cider 5. That's his catch can, which I reckon is just an awesome idea. True uh, Kiwi Aussie way to do it. And um, it should be sweet. Hey Kev. It's actually a nice drop too. <laughs> it's a nice drop, he reckons. There you go. Well, for me as a non-drinker, I don't really know, but I'd believe him. Look at that nice thin viscosity, like hot honey. <laughs> anyway, we'll get this sorted out and we'll get back to you. Rightio, so the resin has been put into our high-tech can. Which heavy. is taped to the bench and everything's taped to it so it doesn't fall over. Right, here we and go. You're unclipping it and it should, with a bit of luck, suck through, oh. there it goes. We've got a bit of a technical problem here, we've clamped the pipe oh, too long. There it goes. There it goes. Now this is in real time. For the people playing at home, this is not sped up. Wow. 48 inch wing, from wingtip to wingtip. Looks like it's going to lag behind a little bit down here, isn't it? It'll be sweet. And that's the speed, real time. It's approximately about one second, so I've found, per one of the little diamonds in there. Oh, yeah. That's what it works out to be on my ones that I've done anyway. So, anyway, we'll clock off and we'll get back to you. Righto, it's been a couple of minutes, and um, you can see there. It's gone exactly halfway after a few minutes. Uh, we've used that first bit of resin, or oh, nearly anyway, still got a bit in the bottom. I've just clamped it off for now, so it is slowing down a little bit. It should come to a stop very soon, or very close to a stop. It'll slow right, right down. Uh, then we'll add the second mix in, and mm. open the high-tech clamping system back up, and we should be sweet. And then we'll keep it going right to this corner until we start to get a bit sucked into the catch can and make sure all the bubbles have been relieved and the job will be done. Just topping it back up again. Topping it back up. And this here has almost come to a stop but it's still crawling. It's about you know, half a centimetre every few seconds. So he's going to unclamp that. Make that back up again, and then we're away again. Cool. Starting to roll and starting to run again. Now we're putting new ones in. We'll get back to you when it gets towards the finish. You can see the relief on <laughs> Kevy's face. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. All right, here we are. And it's just sucked it through. Just come to the end. We may get some stuff coming up that pipe now. The whole lot is done perfect. Perfect measurement over here. Uh, we used 200 grams of resin, but we just identified a couple of dramas with the trailing edge here. Um, Kevy could have put a little bead of splooge along that corner there, 
just to stop the resin from coming this way because what it's actually done is filled the whole trailing edge trough up with resin so we probably used about 60 or 70 mils of resin more than we should have but other than that uh, we sort of turned the resin off when it got to about this stage just you know six seven centimeters from the end and then that's continuing to suck all the bubbles and resin out but now the finish is perfect all the bubbles are out and we've got a little few bubbles around here like microscopic stuff they'll come out over the next 10 minutes and we'll end up having a perfect job <laughs> two thumbs up happy. from kevin he's a happy man so i've just noticed we're just starting to get a few bubbles coming up out of here and going in, in into our catch cans of Five seeds. seeds. Five seeds. <laughs> Crisp apple cider. So that's the excess resin getting sucked out now. And we're just getting a bit coming up the pipe now. Looks like quite cool actually. Very uniformed bubbles. It's actually moving very fast. Cruising up there. That's the go. Job is done. <laughs>